action! Activate! Hi, I'm Gazbot, and I'm here to give an introduction that will no doubt be referred to as off or different or funny, and that's fine, because I was eating a cookie and, and sipping coffee. Last week, however, I made a point of doing the most straightforward intro I could do, and I still got that comment. So if you know what I did last week that was not normal, or maybe my memory is bad, let me know. But this is the standard non-standard opening for Action Activate, and if this is Action Activate, then with me as always... It is I. It is the big dog, ready yeah. and uh, willing to to talk about episode five, stitched up. And five. if there's anything that I don't remember, I must definitely have a companion that will uh, assist me along the way. Um, I other than showing off the fact that you've got the excellent figure you've got, uh, how is that going to help you? Um, I'm just going to look at him for inspiration, think what he would say in times okay. of unknown. You know, maybe I'll do the same with my Gamora Spark doll. Ooh. And if I don't know, I'd just be like, Eah! like, I, actually, I can't remember what noise he makes, but something like a Godzilla sort of sound. That, I awful. feel like that's the reaction we would have if we smelled what the uh, Sporks Beast of this week was uh, spewing up, just as a segue. But uh, initial thoughts, Stitched Up Episode 5, what'd you think? I, I, no surprises is how I would say it. Um, solid, fine. It, it fits in with what we've seen this season. That's how I would put it. You? In a rare turn of events, I think I liked this episode more than you. Maybe, but I'm more forgiving in general. So it, what I'm saying could end up having the same basic rating at the end. Because um, I don't think it was a bad episode. I just wasn't like, well, I guess let's get into it. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. So Stitched Up, um, right away we are picking up exactly where we left off which we rarely do um right. all the other generals are trying to see what's going on now we see void knight and his love um i forget i'm her drinking name. the exact same time as her <laughs> oh nice um i forget her name but his name's Tarek. i thought it was Derek. no it definitely is a t okay oh you know what let me put on closed captions that will help us what yeah because i uh i read it is the only reason i know okay so let's we'll see what her name is too. I, I thought her name sounded like very uh, alien, and his did not. Yeah. Um, so that's why I thought I've only met one Tarek in my life, but I can't confirm it is a name that that is a human humanoids name. have. Uh, well, whatever. Her name will come up, but I guess um, also the assumption is that she's an alien or something, and this is her normal appearance. But he does see something like, "Oh, you're getting better and stronger." So it could go back to that thing we said, where maybe next episode her hair and her eyes change color or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, also, it was very kind of good foreshadowing in the beginning. He's like, "Hey, I'm glad you're back. We're gonna leave Earth soon." Yes. And then agreed. we kind of like I one thing but she I does say, "We're still on Earth." So yeah. it's not like, "Oh, how are we on Earth?" or "What's Earth?" Like clearly, whatever happened happened on Earth. And yeah, go into that again later. The thing I appreciated in this episode and this one, I I feel like normally when we talk about the show, we have a plot, B plot. But yes. for me, I kind of have a uh, kind of different scale with Dino Fury after what we heard from the showrunner of filler and non filler. And this is clearly a non filler episode where they got to do what they wanted to do as opposed to uh, Ion likes ice cream. And uh, we're I making agree. an episode and, about and, it. And the other thing is, as we're going into the civilian plot with um, Izzy and her girlfriend and her mom and all that, yeah. um, th this was all fine. This was yeah. all like, like it's this is B plot. This could be considered filler. I mean, it's character development, but it's not important to the overall thing. Yeah. But it's like more interesting because it is character development than, than Ion liking ice cream. And it's not as goofy and, and ridiculous. And it's sort of like, it's very a little bit surface level. It felt like a Disney show. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like, Oh, my mom doesn't understand me. Oh, but in the end it worked out. And like, that's fine. That's kind of like what it should be. 
you know, and, and it, it, it all worked fine. And, and, you know, of course, for representation, this is the furthest Power Rangers has ever gone with this kind of stuff, uh, yep. which is great. But I'm not looking at it from that point of view. I'm just looking at it from like it was interesting enough as a B plot and and the mix up. We're getting way ahead of ourselves. But the mix up with the dress and the tuxedo and stuff yep. was resolved fairly quickly. Instead of doing that thing where they're like, oh, it took them, you know, the whole episode to realize it was a mistake. They realized right away. Yeah. And then they were trying to fix the mistake, which I always think is a better way to go. Yeah. I also like we. I th- this is the first time we've seen her mom, right? Yes, we've seen the dad. Uh, well, yeah. to my knowledge, unless I'm forgetting, we've seen the dad. Yeah, a same. Times, so uh, yeah. Mom was cool. I liked the mom. Yeah. I think she fits in really well. I think she is uh, my favorite parent or family member we've seen so yes. far, second only to Pop Pop. Um, I would and, put her in the same. Yeah, Pop Pop's more interesting as a as a character, but she she is equally supportive and nice and whatever. Yeah. It, uh, but I also is, like that they implied she wasn't always that way. It's like yeah. she used to be kind of a jerk and now she's okay, which is yeah. you know, growth. Yeah. Showing the growth, yeah. And I also like how I feel like with all of these civilian scenes we saw this episode, it was simple, but it was never dumbed down. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Well, yeah, it, I didn't feel insulted watching it, I w- but it felt like it was for a younger audience. But in a like, that's why I said, like, like I'm just making it a gen- – this could be a scene from a generic Disney show. Like the – I can't even think. What's the name of the one where they're all the children of like the famous. Oh, descendants, descendants, something like that. Not that I've watched a lot of that show or any, any of the, or like the superhero shows, like sort of any of those shows where there are younger characters going through the stuff they go through. It, it yeah, it, it worked. Um, the, is her girlfriend's wait. name here? Who I can't remember. Burn. Um, she's wearing purple. Is she always wearing purple? Uh, that was one thing I thought of when we see the dress later is hmm. I'm wondering if that's like, kind of her thing or and not she takes or if picture it's like with all of the rangers and her now is that yeah. a group of friends or is this foreshadowing that maybe she gets void knight's power or there's a pur- i don't know if there's a purple uh ryu soldier uh suit other than the void knight suit but it did make me think oh is this that would be some cool foreshadowing because she that really would. was like a nothing character that was kind of in the background they've been slowly bringing in yeah and so that would be amazing if that if she turned out to be a ranger that would be very well done yeah um but that whole scene really liked here. You know, we see them uh, kind of bicker amongst each other. Got Wreckmate still there. Uh, Love the design with him. Yep. Um, they and end up fixed. unleashing this yeah, trash monster. I like this trash monster. I do. I, I like almost everything about him. He's a cool design. He's got this skull head. It looks like a mountain, you know. Yeah. like, a, And I like his power. And he's kind of goofy in a way that I enjoy. Like, it wasn't. Like he 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 wasn't incompetent. He had kind of a goofy voice, and, and I liked the little theme song for like burr, 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 but like I don't know, it was just done right. It just worked for yeah. me. I also like uh, a lot of the puns were subtle, but not too like over the top. I I, I feel like his humor was great. Uh, Void Knight, now that he's got his love back, really doesn't care about anybody, and I love how yes. every scene he just continues <laughs> to double down and like yeah, whatever. Yeah. Uh, he does talk about this Zord Jammer, which we've never heard of before, but I guess this is something that he's been working on fine, you know. And he, the Zord Jammer looks weird. Yeah, I, I, I like, wonder, though, Yeah. sorry, normally when we see things like this, the big bad is trying to do, it's like, I need this to try to destroy the Rangers, and inevitably it will fail. Right. And this one, he we established very quickly, he's like, I just need them not to follow me. Yeah, I, I want to be leave. gone. Yeah, I don't want them to see me. Like I want to just be out of their hair and be done with them forever. I can I, care yes. less now. I like that a lot because from the beginning, his motivation seems to have been I want to revive my love, his wife, whoever this is. Yeah, and it'd be so easy to be like, now we're back together and we're gonna rule the world, or now we're back together and we're gonna do what. And he's like, no, I just wanted you. I did bad things to get you. I got you. So yeah. he probably this also helps the idea that you know everyone's the hero of their own stories and the most interesting villains, you know, like a Magneto or somebody, like they think they're they're doing good. Yeah. So he's sort of like the end's just I have to save my love. And if I gotta smash some buildings and smack around some teenagers, I'm gonna save my love. But once he's done it, he's like, I'm done. You know, yeah. he's not he doesn't see himself as an evil person. He's just like I, I, I did my mission and like I I I I like that. It makes him a better character. Same. I agree. And I think also, um, just to close off that part, um, the yeah just the whole demeanor change the means to an end this also opens the door assuming that everything goes according to his plan that all the villains are like well either they could go one of two routes kind of just live and do their thing or slither or wreckmate becomes the new head right. honcho and then they still try to destroy yeah. the rangers you know so really cool yeah. stuff yeah agreed 
Um, then we go back to Buzz Blast. Still no Jane or J Borg, even though we're at Buzz Blast. No Pop Pop. Actually, this part you would think of the, of the um, this is where they have the mistake that I talked about, where she gets her dress. Um, and they oh, they kept talking about this ninja show. Yeah, uh, Kung and, Fugitive. Kung Fugitive, which I thought at some point we're gonna see. Now, what's cool, and again, kudos if there's if Kung Fugitive shows up in an episode or two. Yeah. And I haven't looked ahead. I don't know if there's a crossover with some other, you know property that maybe you know they take a space sheriff and that's kung fugitive or whatever that would be awesome but even if it's just something they make up it's got to show up later because they 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 did it so heavily i thought it was going to show up in this episode you know like they'd end up on the set of kung fugitive or kung fugitive is really a superhero and you know whatever and i love too the way they talked about it was so organic like how we talk about power rangers or other shows we watch where sometimes (laughs) sometimes in previous iterations of rangers they'll bring something up and it's like a punchline at one specific time and that's it it's like Mm -hmm. very shoehorned in it's like oh my favorite hero when i was a kid was made up thing that you'll never hear of again and that's it whereas this was like everybody was talking about it organically and then was like oh did you guys watch the episode this oh no spoilers which is how i feel all the time in our mm-hmm. comments. And I, I just want to take a moment and appreciate all of you for not spoiling anything Absolutely. since clearly you're ahead of us and yes. you still comment here. So thank you for not yes, spoiling. Agreed. And Absolutely I am agreed. very uh, Amelia centric <laughs> in, in my feelings of don't spoil. I'm very Same. excited to continue to watch. Same. Um, but here comes, you know, she got the dress. The one thing she said to her mom, I don't want to dress. And yeah. like, you know, and fair enough if she thought her mom did that to her. And, and, but even at that moment, I'm like, okay, you know, obviously her mom didn't do this. This is obviously a mix up because whatever their past is, whatever her mom's misunderstanding, she literally said no, no dress. So the fact that like it was a dress, it could have been anything else. There might've been some gray area, but Izzy obviously has had some uh, trauma over this and is like, you know, geared to be upset about it. So she chucks it in the garbage. And then of course, because TV, this guy comes and takes it right away. This guy could have easily been pop up just to like use the same character. Yeah. Uh, and it kind of would have made more sense since pop ops sort of a handyman. That he's just like, oh, they hired me to clean up in here today because I, <laughs> this is a weird thing. The, the biggest problem I have with this episode, and I don't have many. This is like overall, I thought this was good, is the way they handle trash. Because, y- you know, I have a house and I know how trash works. And, and I've lived in several places, houses, apartments, whatever. There is, And I've worked in companies and offices. There's no world where the regular trash guy that picks it up from the curb comes into a building yeah. and empties each individual trash can. Never happens, no matter how late you are. If you're late, it just doesn't get picked up. Maybe there's like a dumpster at the bottom that they'll collect from or something. But I was like, well, maybe he's not, you know, employed by the city or whatever. He works for them. He's like kind of a janitor and he collects it all. But no, because he's at the dump. So the guy, the same guy that picks it up from the curb, goes into the building and gets it and brings it and works in the dump. That's not one job. That's That doesn't exist. <laughs> and I know they did it for expediency's sake, but I don't know. That was the only thing that, and also that dump, Having been to a dump was ridiculous. Clean, it was clean just like piles of bags. Yeah, it was ridiculous. <laughs> um, all of that stuff I forgave for the sake of time and its kid no, show. I, and blah, I'm, blah. Not, yeah, I'm not holding it against it, but I, I was very much like, this is just not at all accurate. <laughs> also, um, not taking away from any acting we've seen on the show thus far, I feel like Izzy being upset, that was like the best we've seen of of the actress in the whole series. Honestly, was that like minute yeah. or two minutes? Like all this, I was like, wow, that's like really, really good. I agree. I think, I think Izzy is the actress is good. And, and she just doesn't, she has a couple focused episodes yep. and the rest, she's sort of just a background character. And, but when she gets the focused episode, she does a good job. The other thing um, that I guess we're mildly jumping ahead, but uh, in this episode, when it comes to Izzy and Ion, I'm right. like, this is all I needed from you guys the whole time. Just do it like this. Don't do the other weird stuff you've been doing. Just do this episode. Just, yeah, I didn't. That, that in a nutshell. Thing, I didn't have any issues with Ion this episode, but Same. Ion did almost nothing this episode. And that's the thing. When they try to highlight him and give him a moment to shine, it doesn't really work. Um, I like, I will say, Ollie has continued to be on an uptick yep. lately. Like, like they're kind of getting back to what he was in the beginning. Which yeah. Is good. One, one thing I want to notice before they leave, um, he I like and, the, and Amelia have a little back and forth about fashion flirting a little bit. And yeah. She's like, why is your shirt on inside out? And he's like, oh, fashion. And then when they get there, his shirt is right side. Yeah, that's very cool. Uh, yeah. And this is just we haven't seen all six of morph in a very long time. Like, I don't know. I just liked it was just a classic. Here's the full morph, everybody. It's like 
you yeah. don't see that as much this far into the season, you know, so it was just a nice little thing. And they never do the split screen like that, except for the actual morph. They never show them all up close. It's always from afar with one that's person true. calling Maybe it. Maybe that's why I liked it. Cause yeah. like, yeah, that's just something about it. It was, felt fun. Yeah. It felt very comic booky, like panel to panel kind of thing. I really enjoyed it. Agreed. I don't know why the sound just came on. Wait, good morphing. Okay. There we go. Um, but they morph, they fight a little bit. We find out that, uh, homeboys just getting all the garbage, all the garbage yeah. into parts. You know, and, doing said, and Ollie even says, like, I don't know what this could be building. It could be anything, which is cool that he acknowledges yeah. he's the guy they would ask, but he doesn't know everything. And like, yeah. yeah. Um, but it, it to me, it was like a very open ended question of like, I like comic books. What should I read? They're making parts. What are they going to build? Right. That <laughs> I is do like such a broad question. <laughs> I like this for two reasons. The smell of my mask does nothing. One, because they're acknowledging like, hey, wouldn't this protect them? Nope, it's not. Yep. But also. Is this a Simpsons reference? You know, the McBain, the famous, it's like, uh, they're like, where are these goggles for safety? And it's like, she's like, my eyes, the goggles do nothing. Like, I don't know, but like the way he says, my mask does nothing. That verbiage, it it, it could be a Simpsons reference, but either way, I like that they used it yeah. to, you know. And then uh, Mucus found a, a gas mask because she was so sick of smelling it. And she's like, and ah, funny. but you had this. Um, and I guess we've seen this armor, but not on him before. Correct. Yeah. Um, it is weird that they're not releasing a set of all the Rangers with some armor. They can go on. Or even to be more toyetic, it's weird that they don't have like a, a, a Ranger with like several different armor sets that you could switch around. Like, you know, you, you get the Red Ranger with five sets. That, like, I don't or know. You know weird. Ranger toys. What? Or, or why they don't just have Ranger toys that you could buy. <laughs> well, they do have some. And, you know, but do they, it seems like, well, they just released, um, Zato in lightning collection. And it seems like an easy exclusive to give him one of the armors, but in the kids ones, like you would think that they'd have <laughs> like a little Capri Sun sippy. Pack I did. Video. Yeah. Nice. I don't know. It just seems like an easy reuse. You know, you make one set of armor with little tweaks and colors and put it on all the figures you already made or, you know, I don't know. but anyway, so yeah, they leave with all the parts. And um, they unmorph, they do the thing. Oh, now she, she find finds out. out she's super duper goofed. Oh, wait, her girlfriend is not wearing purple. I don't think let's look again. Let's see. It might be the, the screen color, but I guess that looks blue uh, to me. Oh, we're going to go with purple. We're going to stick with purple. purple. Stick with it. Yeah. Uh, Fern, that's her name. Yep. So they go, uh, they find him. Oh, what's weird here too. He's like, He's like, okay with them digging through the trash, fine. But he's like, you might want some pins. And I didn't know what he meant, or peg. He literally meant like an old fashioned clothes pin, which is like, what? Like, yeah. like not like, like if he works there, wouldn't he have something better? And he's not wearing it. It was just, it was, a, that was very anachronistic and very like, uh, felt like we were in a Bugs Bunny cartoon or something. So, so I had one problem with this scene just based what? on previous episodes we had. So they wait for him to leave, fine. They're like, we're going to dig through many, Many times they've gone, we have all these MacGuffin keys. Let's use the MacGuffin keys. So I was like, oh, they're going to use the see-through key and just like find the bag and do I that. I didn't think that, but I thought they'd use the fix-it key to fix it. I was going to get to that because yeah. they specifically said, oh, is there anything you could do to fix it? Yeah. And I then thought they that's – no. And then they could have even had a thing of like, well, we're not supposed to use our powers. Like I would have been fine with that. But yeah, it is weird that like – whatever. Yeah. Um, Only real – gripe i had because they established it earlier mm -hmm. um but i get they didn't do it because then she wouldn't have the moment with her mom and growth and yada 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 well no but they um, could have done it and like i just said they could have said she could have said let's use the fix it key and zato could have been like look these powers are not for that we don't want to start abusing them for our own personal gain and she could be like no you're right and then still have the moment yeah, and then you'd have like their address that would be good for continuity and it would be another like character growth of like yeah you don't abuse your power like that yep yeah you're right um yeah. they try to Get the ninja steel point. They try to brush his teeth. Void Knight doesn't care about anyone anymore. <laughs> Void Knight um, has become very abusing with his I don't care at all. Yeah. Um he ends I, up uh I love swallowing that he mucus. Swallows her. Yeah. And I love how both of the generals were like <laughs> at first I thought they were gonna defend mucus, like, hey, mucus is a good general, but they're like, that's really gonna mess up your stomach, yeah. man. Like you're gonna yeah. have like monster diarrhea. It's not gonna be yeah. good. 
And so meanwhile, um, she's watching what's going on and she sees what's happening. Finding out the plan. Yeah. And she's like, what are you doing? Like, what's yeah. going on here? Um, we can fast forward this part a little bit, but uh, we already talked about basically they yeah. have a nice moment. Yeah. So here's the other thing. Yeah. She immediately owns I'm the worst. I was awful. Yeah. I prejudged. It was the thing that I thought you did, and then I did it following a, a toxic pattern. I it's real bad. The mom was super forgiving and was like, you know what? When you were a kid, I thought, you know, you had the same interests as yeah. me. Now you're was, your own person. Yeah, it was I'm so, masterfully handled. Like, yeah, yeah, like I'm so sorry you thought that. Yada yada. Everything great. When yeah. it comes to every other Ion episode, I want to rip my hair out more than I already have and just be like, just go away. Just go every on other Ion. Planet. Well, wait, you keep, you said Ion, but like, what is her, you're just saying how Izzy is handled better than Ion, basically. Well, uh, for every episode, uh, every Ranger has had an episode where they do something wrong and then they have to own it. Yes. The only two that I've actively despised is every Ion episode <laughs> and every Ollie episode. Um, yeah, I do think Ion's worse than Ollie, but yeah. Well, he's had more opportunities to fail because <laughs> they just give him all these episodes where it's like, hey, did you goof some? Oh, yeah, have Ion do it. People don't like him already. You just go for it. Um, then we cut back to Void Knight and the junk guy, and he's like, I'm going to I'm gonna make a mess. And he's like, he's getting sick, uh, which, of course, we know is going to be mucus. <laughs> and then Void Knight literally in the scene. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> Whatever. He's not even Tuesday. looking at him. Yeah. And then mucus gets puked up once again, proving how powerful mucus is, despite yep. being like for comic relief. Like, oh, yep. you're back. <laughs> yeah, she, she seems very like impossible man or Mr. Mixelplick or like yes. that might not but that like, level, but like way but, like, more powerful than like, people. You, give her you, credit. She's kind of more of a nuisance than a danger, but you cannot defeat her. Yeah. And then she gets sprayed with the, the toothbrush and everything. And, and then, then he's just, like, oh, the receiver's like, ready. Go yeah. Start yeah, he just does not care. That's great. I agree. <laughs> Yeah, good. Good okay. to your thing. So um, then they set the sensors to find Jungle as gas, but now it shows up in two places because he puked up mucus, which gives them an excuse to split up. So the team split up, and they find Void Knight. And my thought was like the three of them are going to take on Void Knight, and but no, he he basically wrecks them, which is exactly how it should be because they established he could fight six of them. Yeah, he mostly wrecks them. I would say well, this I think was the most fair fight where the Rangers actually thought about it. And like, instead of just getting straight up wrecked, they like, you know, they, they put up a fight. They had some strategy that, yeah, but he's clearly more powerful than any one individual Ranger and is a match for three of them. Um, Javi uses the power up later, which makes him a bit stronger. But one thing I want to notice from both the monster and Void Knight, they both keep like seeping this purple energy that I think is going to play off later. It seems very specific. I don't think they're connected to each other. I see what you're saying. I think Void Knight's purple energy, it's more just like whatever his stolen power, his evil, like whatever he's tapped into, that's like his, you know, power. I think the, the monster, it's just his like little pukey energy, like for Monster of the Week. Well, I, I think my headcanon fan theory is I think it has to do with Sporex. So I think Void Knight may be juicing on Sporex now that the machine brought his love back. So and you maybe think that wasn't, and now he is, and that's why he's more in the field fighting, and or more powerful. Maybe it's not a bad theory. Yeah. So we'll see. But uh, right here, I got a hunch. It's time for brunch. Love yeah. it. Yeah, Beautiful. I have no problem with any of the, the all of the comedy was either good or indifferent in my mind. Yeah. I like they went back to like a classic Megazord with the original. One thing three. in this uh format, well, we haven't seen this formation in a while. I don't think we've ever seen them use keys and Zords you mean he used the elastic key oh you're right and it didn't work out but he did it yeah that's true but also then we come back to continuity of sentai like was this an early episode that they cut this fight into a, like a later episode i don't know but Maybe, yeah that, but but I this I they've definitely really done it to bring it. another zords yeah i don't know that's a good question i that might be the first time they've used like a superpower yeah but again like how it didn't work out because it yeah. was a thing of like hey you know you got to be creative in these fights like and the boy knight was right he's like oh they're uh, this guy yeah he throws up stuff but he's pretty strong they're gonna bring yeah. in a pack his word um i like this shot where we're like in a parking garage or something looking i was like when they do like stuff like that to make it more epic scale yeah agreed and a whole building is destroyed <laughs> and they yeah they call call in the pack his word so he gets his reading and this was saying javi at this point powers up and he's like fighting him 
I think we're supposed to believe they're equals. I think Void Knight is still more powerful, but but Javi's just like doing a good job. Yeah. Um, and I think Void Knight, he's not running away. Yeah, who cares? I got what I came for. He's just like, he's not interested in fighting and winning. He's like, I got the thing, the end. I don't, I don't care. Which yeah. I think it, it plays for comedy, but it also makes sense with his character. Yeah. And then we got um, the boxing ring the, again. The Pachyzord comes now, in. Does The one thing does we didn't mention fight. last week, um, generally we've been happy that it's a sword and they finish with a sword move or a chop move instead of a, a blaster. The only problem with the Pachyzord is they use the sword and it's this sort of punch where they shoot the little baby out. Yeah. It's not the worst, but it's not ideal. It's just, oh, this yeah, they, is still better than last season. Oh, absolutely. It's the worst version of it in this season, but the season overall is still way better than the Cheetah Beast Blaster. Yeah. So they got Great. the down of fear. I like this too. We're teleport in and Sporex. Oh, and she says, it like, you're getting sloppy. And she's like, eh, yeah, yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Again, good humor. Great humor. Yeah. Uh, she so looks maniacal. She I looks much it. better, though. Like talking about healing, like even from the earlier scene. Yeah. But here, you definitely get the vibe that he's like, "I wanted you back. Let's get out of here." And she's like, "No, we got stuff to do. Let's now." Have you forgotten what the humans taken from us? Which goes makes me think of the theory that Amelia is their child somehow. That uh, have we talked about that on air or no? We've not. I, I don't. It's not my theory. Somebody said it in the comments. I think. Um, I don't know where it comes from. If there's anything to it other than just fan theory, but supposedly Amelia's parents disappeared mysteriously at some point. I guess Pop Pop or somebody said this, and so the theory is like, well, we don't know who her parents are. They're old enough to be her parents. Something that now something is taken from them. It's making me think like maybe, and that would be a reason for them to like stay and maybe Void Knight like reclaims his goodness, but the mother's too far gone or something like that. Like that could be interesting if, if they, they do that. I, so my initial theory, when I saw this, when they want to get off planet, he seems like he has a place in mind. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go with, he's from KO 35, just to tie in continuity with other humanoids from, you know, other realms or, or he, other. He could planets. be from, um, Rafcon and he just didn't put out his tentacles. No, cause yeah. I think they would have brought up Rafcon as a put, cause the thing about Rafcon is all those Rangers were on Rafcon, got launched to Earth. This is specifically like Earth did something to us. Which no, but I'm thinking, let's he say he ended up on Earth, and they had a child, and she's an alien, and somebody like they took the the baby away, and because you know, I was with you on the first one. Tying in Rafcon doesn't make any sense to me. All right, um, if he is from what is it, Ko thirty five, where Andros is from, or Edenoid, just a planet we've heard okay. of that humanoids are on. Well, I, but Andros, he would have telekinetic or other powers, which they haven't shown him doing. Well, I mean, the, Andros had telekinetic powers. Zane didn't. Oh, I guess you're. Did he not? Yeah, you're right. Grown. Okay, you're right. I guess I thought it was like a, a a racial thing, but maybe only certain people there have it. And then um, uh, who is yeah, the... so it's clear that he's like, let's just go. And she's like, no. And so that's going to be a conflict and see where that goes. And this is the other thing where she was in stasis, comes back still freshly angry from whatever happened. True. He's had however long he's like, I don't care about revenge anymore. I just want to leave. Yeah, this that's, exhausting. that's a good parallel. That's a really good parallel. All right. Yeah, well done. he's well like, done. I, I, I just love you and want to bounce. And she's like, we have to destroy everything. And it's like. Do we have to though? Like I've been fighting yeah. to get you back for a while now. I'm real I'm really over sick this. mucus and uh <laughs> yeah, like I we could destroy them if they don't like give us Jeff fuel, like whatever, I guess. Um True. uh we it's, see the park ranger evil, back, not as a park ranger. Right yeah, I know he does look maniacal. That's why I thought he was void knight at first. Yeah, uh, <laughs> gotta prune the grass. <laughs> but uh I, I like him in the scene. I think uh definitely in in uh the prime is what I'll call it. Prime episodes. He is written well yeah. and not just a, a guy who's grouchy all the time. Yeah. He's just like a normal, awkward father, you know? Yeah. And they but come out. And another thing. Dress. Yeah. It was like, why are you out here? Oh, Izzy hates pictures. So I'm going to like sneak some because I don't want to upset her. Right. Another cool thing. Yes. But then she's like, no, it's okay because she's wearing her suit and she's got happy with her girlfriend and feeling kind of okay. So yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah, so growth on all parts here. Really good stuff. It is a little weird. Okay, Javi comes in and he's got the, the limo, which is cool. Uh, and this is like a nitpick. But I do feel like if I was going to go on a big date to prom uh, and then my sibling came in with a limo and then was like, also, here's a bunch of random friends of ours. Like, I don't know if I want them coming on the ride for my date, but 
I, you know, who knows? Maybe if you're Power Ranger, it's fine. But th that's why I felt like, is this foreshadowing? Yeah, I, you know what I, I, mean? I think that's reasonable. I also think, uh, again, to what you were saying in previous episodes of Ion is the established goofball. This yes. episode makes him the established goofball. Other episodes have him. No, I think they established like him, I, whether it was last episode or the episode before where I said that. And this continues it. Because now they're all like, let's hug. And he's like, I'm eating. <laughs> like, it's just. Yeah, yeah. And earlier they're like, oh, you, you eat garbage more than I on, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, you said we were feeling different about this, but I think we're feeling similar, actually. Um, what's your grade? I'm going to let you go. So my grade, the second the episode ended, I had had one in mind. This technically got slightly lower as we nitpicked, but I'm going to stick with it for the sake of argument. Mine hasn't changed. I'll let okay. you go first. Cause I feel like I go first all the time. A minus. Wow. Yeah. I was, I was going, I was going B or B minus. I've been. Wow. Through. Yeah. I, I really it, liked it. I, <sighs> I guess the thing is, I've liked all the episodes this season generally. You've had a much more strong opinions either way. And so I'm like, it wasn't way better than the other episodes, in my opinion. To you, it was. Um, it did forward the plot a bit. It did, you know, the comedy wasn't terrible. And like, it, it was fine. Like, and that's the thing. A B or a, like a B, I'll give it a B. I'll say it's a B. A B is not a bad grade. That's above average. You know, like I, I was happy to get Bs in school. You know, yeah, an A is great. But any C is fine. That's average. That's passing. That's you know anything above C, I consider good, um, but I don't think it was A. Uh, I, I so so the reason I give it A minus is usually for me my scale is are the highs high and do the lows drag it down? And this didn't really have any lows. It like, didn't have any lows, but I don't think the highs were high enough. I I think the highs for me in this episode were subtle, which is why I you know, appreciated them more and felt like there were so many subtle highs that that's why I put it higher. Keep talking about that. I'll be right back. All right. Sounds good. So for me, um, like the highs for me kind of going semi chronologically, I liked how we established the relationship with Void Knight and his love and kind of, they threw us into it as opposed to telling us, Oh, remember back when you exploded and then you were in stasis. And then I spent however many years, like they didn't explain it to us like that. We got to, just hear their conversation. There's stuff we don't know because it hasn't been established to us, but like clearly, you know, there's some stuff that they're progressing their conversations through. I like the civilian stuff with Izzy's mom and dad throughout the episode. I thought the conflict resolution stuff there and the lesson learning was great, felt very or organic, didn't really feel forced. When we went to Buzz Blast, it wasn't just, you know, waiting for a bad joke. Um, you could argue the worst jokes from the episode were from the garbage man but he you know none of that bothered me um cool monster cool powers cool reason for kind of the bad guys planned this episode so all that was good got to see some firsts we got to see um as far as i know the MacGuffin keys used in the megazord thought that was very cool got to see battle armor outside of um gold and red a little more prevalently i know i think amelia first introduced the fire armor and somebody else may have had it but we don't see it as often and uh, yeah just everything felt really solid uh nothing egregious uh, so definitely yeah. nothing egre I, and i guess that's the thing like you keep coming back to like this was a solid good episode and i agree but i feel like i felt like that about several episodes this season and you haven't yeah, there, there were a bunch of episodes that were good, but then for me, the reason I didn't have them as high as this it, is it was like, for example, um, I can't use the Lord's Dead episode, but there's another episode that I can't think of where it was that like... wasn't this season anyway. Well, I, I meant Dino Fury. I didn't mean season two of Dino Fury. Gotcha. Um, where it was like, oh, like they did this stuff and it was really cool. And then we had the worst Jane and Jayborn part and then Pop Pop came in and yes. it didn't make sense and it was shoehorned. So like for you, you're like, the highs outweighed the lows. And for me, I'm like, they average out. Whereas this, nothing drug down everything I liked, which is why mm -hmm. I thought it was higher. And also, I gave it the extra bump from B plus to A minus because, um, especially with all of the like lesson learning and stuff that Power Rangers is known for, everything, like I said, didn't feel dumbed down. Like this I is agree. something I enjoyed. A child will enjoy. There's nothing like weird or wrong about it. like that. It wasn't catered. It was just very accessible, which I, I, I mean, I agree. We don't disagree about the facts or even our opinions. I think it just, for, for whatever reason I'm landing on B and you're landing on a minus like, you know, so be it, you know? Uh, also, I think it's interesting. I'm wearing a bandana, which I think I've never worn on, on camera here. I went for a hike this morning 
And so I just, this, I was wearing this and it stayed on and whatever. And you're not wearing a hat, which maybe yep. you've done once before. Yeah, so a handful of both, times. You were de- both definitely in like alternate modes today. <laughs> yeah. I think it's because it's earlier too for us. We're recording That's a little true. bit earlier than normal. During the day, you could see the light, like the reflection behind me that usually it's at night. So yeah. Yeah. But uh, I think, uh, I think we can wrap it there. Yeah, I think it's solid. I'm looking once again. To... I'm looking forward to next week's episode. Well, next week, <laughs> the, the next episode uh, yeah. more than I have been previously. So, yeah. whatever we say about this individual episode, Dino Fury season two is overall way better than season one, in my opinion. I think so far, five for five episodes is better. Yeah. Um. And again, I I hope that we get more episode, more prime episodes like this and less filler. Yes. Agreed. Agreed. All right. Until then, I've been Gazbot. Still big dog. Yeah. And to the power. Do we do we do this? I always thought it was like this. Or is it like this? I, and I always go like this because the yeah. ring. To the power. I think we used to do this and now it's sort of evolved into that. I, I, or maybe I did it like see you later. We'll do five more years, it'll be like, and to the power. <laughs> like a full on sense, I think. But yeah. uh end credits. <laughs>